sticking with the independent, and what is Nicola hiding, Kerry? The identity of a hairdresser? Nobody knows. She's got a rubbish yes. haircut, right? I, was, I knew what you were saying. <laughs> okay, fine, fine, fine. Um, I just ignored it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just jealous that she has hair. <laughs> um, so yes, Nicola Sturgeon's WhatsApp uh, messages. Um, so th this is uh, the COVID inquiry. There's actually, a, I think there's two COVID inquiries going on at the moment, isn't there? And, um, uh, and this one is asking to see the, the WhatsApp messages, which have all gone missing. Um, and of course, Nicola Sturgeon and Yusuf are all saying that they've, are both saying that they've, um, they're insisting that they've been cooperating and they've, they've written out you know, 10 pages of this or 10 pages of that. But um, I, I think when we all use WhatsApp, it, it, it's, we're used to the idea of it being something between friends, but this is governments talking about policy and so on, and yeah. uh, and it's very, it's it's odd, I think, in a suspicious way, because somebody knows who deleted all those messages, and presumably and someone more than was given person. an order to do so. Yeah, it's obviously, it's more than one person. You, well, well you'd think, think so, so. Yeah, it's from, yeah. Especially it, if it's a group message, we don't yeah. know exactly what it is, but of course she deleted them. Nicola Sturgeon is many things, but she's not stupid, despite what a lot of people have said, including myself in the past, because if we did see those messages, we'd understand understand what she and her cabinet really thought. Yeah. And it would have undermined every single one of her policies throughout COVID. I mean, a standard policy was to look at what Boris Johnson was doing and then either do the opposite thing or double down on it, depending on which way the political winds were blowing. So there is no surprise to me. She is no better or worse than Boris or the Tories. They did exactly the same thing. They knew what reality was. They knew they didn't need to do the things that it did, but they just played political games. I do like but her statement here where she says, uh, also her spokesperson said, Nicola will continue to provide all the information requested by the inquiry that she holds, that she yes, holds yes, now yes. still. Um, is this a case, Kerry, of them going, you know what, because they've broken their own rules here. They were not allowed to be deleting that data. They've done it. But is it, that, is it easier to delete it and face the consequences for that yes. than actually well, release that information? Look, we, we don't know what was in it, so yes, probably. But we're, the governments are always going on about accountability, and then when it comes to the crunch, we don't ever get that. So uh, the, the SNP more, more than most in terms of hypocrisy. Uh. Anyway, I mean, that's what people How many argue. inquiries have been worthwhile? Leveson? But even the outcome of Leveson... But also, what, what, what will this even show? There's, there are also the other inquiries looking into uh, the Scottish patients that were um, uh, taken from hospitals and put in care homes and not isolated and so on. But what we're also going to find out is the damage that isolation did to people as well. Who are, we, We've said, you know, all our lives we've heard the worst thing for old people is isolation. So, you know, that's the other complaint we're hearing to the other side of the scale.